All right, for the past couple months, Lady Luck has been really good to me, so I've won a lot of money down at the local casinos, and I decided not to put the money back into the casino and buy some pro audio for the house here, and I just got everything purchased and hooked up and running great. But let me show you real quick with this Basotronics YouTube video here. Check this out. I mean, literally shakes two doors down. I, I am not kidding. All right, so I've got the Behringer NX6000, 3,000 watts per channel RMS at four ohms running these two guys and these two guys. So 3,000 over here, 3,000 over there. NX6000 Behringer running the JBL 12 inch two ways. So about, about 2,000 watts right there. And let's get in here real close and I'll show you a little bit more of how I wired this thing up and some new additions. Starting from the top down, you've got the Furman PL Pro C power conditioner with lights here. Yeah, see, -hoo -hoo -hoo. see everything. AC Infinity six fan rack cooler. Mm -hmm. Got your Denon mixer with six inputs, which I have on the back side of this unit. Uh, with microphones, XLR, and preamp out. Your, your stereo in. I've got this one wired for AM, FM. This one for the multimedia player here. And this for the TV set and stereo. Microphone, EQ, mono, master, all the good stuff. This is my newest addition. This is the Art CX310 crossover. This is for crossing over these two amplifiers right here. The top one is for the two two-way speakers, the JBLs, and the bottom one, um, crossover point, is for the subwoofers, right here, see, about 80, 80 to 90 is a pretty good range for these guys, and I got these all turned in real good, it's excellent, excellent little freaking crossover, the Denon multimedia player does freaking everything, aux in, USB, Bluetooth, CD player, SD card in AM and FM, of course. This is just a spectrum analyzer, static, it doesn't do anything except dance the lights. This is an ART 31 band high resolution constant equalizer <laughs> with feedback detection circuitry, which is really sexy. Some more fans and then the two amplifiers. Let's look on the back here. Like I said, this is a modified cab that I made all new hardware this is not stock I put those I put this handle in here myself oh excuse me back here this is what goes into the mixer so I got microphones here 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 or here 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 six inputs and I got preamp out here good to go 20 amp service I had to put a new uh, heavy-duty outlet in there Bluetooth antenna is a 6 dB gain. It's pretty badass. And you're saying, why? <laughs> and I say, why not, right? If you love bass and you love crystal clear sound, these JBLs, these are freaking amazing. Expensive as hell. Uh, high, high end stuff. And the Yamahas, 18 inch passive cabs knock your socks off they go all the way down into the 20s all day long and just rattle the living hell out of this house <laughs> so like i said i got 3,000 watts here so essentially 1500 1500 1500 1500 there and about 2,000 watts going into these guys and it just will freaking bark <laughs> bark 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 all right just thought i'd show you this system and hopefully it inspires you or gives you ideas of what not to do, maybe. <laughs> but this thing is just really good. I mean, think about it. Think about it, what you can do with this. You know, kind of a jack-of-all-trades. Use it for DJing, 
light venue mixing. Well, you have to get a mixing board, a different mixer, but uh, it's got plenty of power and I got plenty of speaker. All right, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.